Good morning. Sunday the 23rd of April. And it's cold. It's currently showing minus 1.5. 23rd of April, well into spring. You'd think it'd be warmer than this. I wish I wore my full finger gloves now. But I'm sure it'll get warmer in a bit. It is quite early. I left the house at half six. It's not even seven o'clock yet. The sun is coming up in front of me. Apart from the cold, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. We're heading out to Stratford-upon-Avon this morning, and then on to Wowsbourne. It's a route I plotted on Strava and sent to my garden last night. So we'll head out that way before turning back um, up over the hills. Uh, which I normally ride into Warwickshire, Shakespeare's County. Minus 1.7 now. It's getting colder. It's uh, 0.4 degrees. <laughs> but I am starting to feel my fingers again. I didn't do much vlogging back there just because I couldn't uh, switch the camera on. My fingers are too numb. show you a bit of Stratford as well. Green. This will be heaving later. As you can imagine, it's a very popular place for tourists. Two point nine degrees. Tropical. That was Stratford. I'm not sure what was going on today. Obviously, some sort of festival, which is quite common. Always something going on. I have to say feeling pretty average today. Not sure what that is, but certainly don't feel as strong as I normally do. A bit tired as well. The balloon. Balloon! You probably can't see. Just dots. I'm hoping I'll ride into some form and uh, and it'll improve later on. Not sure how far I'm going today. Just see how I'm feeling. That looks like quite an impressive church for such a little place like this. Hampton Lucy, I believe we're in.
See, that's a normal church for a little village. Left hand. I was born. Can I just say thank you to those of you who have watched my Everesting Stanroy Hill video? I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it yet, you can find it on my channel. I think it's my featured video at the moment. And if you do, uh, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe put a comment in. But what to do next? What challenge should I do next? I have some ideas, but if you've got any ideas, let me know. Put them in the comments box at the bottom of this video. I enjoy doing those sort of epic rides. The climb from last week, Bushcombe Lane, that was pretty good. And I like filming them and making content for this channel so you can all see. So if you do have any ideas, please let me know. I'll view through them and I'll endeavour to do them. I was born in Bushmar. I stripped the bike down yesterday and gave it a full service. Thought it needed it and deserved it after the last couple of rides. I managed to go well today, except there is a funny, not squeak, it's, a, it's an odd sound coming from down at the cranks, the bottom bracket. Now this is a Cannondale with BB30. And BB30 is notoriously bad for funny noises, usually creaks, and it's not a creak, it's not noisy, you can barely hear it, and it might not be the bottom bracket which is causing the noise, but because it's BB30 I think that it is. Walton, I'm going to put you down by my cranks and pedal, see if you can hear it. Is it the bottom bracket? I don't know. I hate it when there's a sound on my bike and I don't know where it's coming from. Can you hear that? It certainly seems to make the noise when I put down more power. Which suggests the bottom bracket. I'm not really sure where I'm going now. I know I'm heading in the right direction. I want to be... I want to head towards Stow on the Wold, which takes us up onto the hills where I normally ride. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Morning. This is a very pleasant morning and a very nice road to cycle along. Well, there were no signs for this. Okay, I know where I am. Morning. Morning. There's a climb coming up, so heads down and I've got to get on with it. Well, I've skirted around the edge of Molten Marsh. I came out on the top of Borkton on the Hill. And I'm still heading in the direction of Stowe, but I, I don't think I actually go into Stowe. I'm going to cut off on a little side road before then. I do have a plan in mind. I'm looking at the time.
time it should work out. Got a bit of cloud cover now, but it is seven degrees. Feeling a bit better now, not as tired. It's probably just the cold weather this morning which made me feel not so great. Now it's warmed up, um, feeling a lot better. Well, I'm just coming up to 50 miles done, and it's nearly 10 o'clock. Shall I stop for some breakfast? I will. It's almost as if I planned my route to come this way around 10 o'clock. So the farm park here opens at 10.30, but the, ca little, oh, the little cafe opens at 10. So it's always a good idea to get up here between 10 and 10 30 because it's not busy then. breakfast done I'm now heading towards Breeden Hill I think I'll just do a lap of it I've done enough climbing so keep it fairly flat now do a lap of Breeden Hill steam train I was waiting for last week. I wasn't just waiting for just a normal train to come through there, just on that bridge. It's, uh, it's this line which has steam trains on it. Right, change of plan. Just in a little bit of Breeden Hill. Um, but I've decided to head back towards home. The weather has definitely turned. A little bit of rain in the air now. And the clouds are coming in. I don't want to be out if it's going to rain. Cut this ride short. Oh, I, did, I did that last week, didn't I? Cut last week's ride short. Um, 70 miles at the moment. So at least I've gone further than I did last week. There was an interesting report on the BBC News website earlier this week. I don't know if any of you saw it. It was about commuting by bicycle. And it was the uh, results of a study, quite a substantial study carried out. And it revealed that commuting to work by bicycle reduced the risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer by up to 50%. Guess what, doing exercise daily is good for your health. I myself commute by bicycle every day. Nearly six miles there, six miles back in the evening. And, it, and it's great, it, you do feel better for it. I also saw an article that had 
excuses why people didn't want to commute by bicycle um, and the reasons against those excuses. It was quite interesting. I'll try and find it and put a link in the description below. People often start going to gyms as part of their fitness regime. I might soon give in because it becomes a chore, it's difficult. Honestly, commuting by bike doesn't become a chore, it just, just becomes part of your day. And this study shows how good it can be for you. It's just a good thing. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, try and find both articles and put them in the description below for you all to see. Um, worth the read. This is Hinton Crossroads. We're gonna go across a quite busy road towards Charles Wickham and Broadway. You get a good view of the hills I normally climb from here. That whole range of hills there has several roads going up. I did most of them in uh, one of my vlogs a couple of episodes back. Probably do the, something similar again soon. around the hill. So this hasn't really been much of a ride. Um, over 80 miles in now, heading home. Don't feel I've done much. There was no big climb or, or anything really. So sorry if this vlog isn't up to much. So I think that just leaves me to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So yes, only 80 miles done today, but I uh, don't feel bad for cutting it short. There was a risk of rain earlier. So until next time, see you soon. Yeah.